All right, so it's that time of year again. My it's cold it. as witch's tit out there. And you need something what warm. Witch's tits are cold. Nipply. It, <laughs> that's know. where it gets it gets nipply out there. Anyway, I feel like this is one of those stupid sayings that like literally means nothing. That someone just made it up. They're like, oh, but well, a witch's tits cold because they have a cold heart or something. But hey, if it if it's nipply, it, well, it's nipply outside. Well, it's nipply because it's a witch's tit. Cold is a witch's tit. It but all goes why together. Why is a witch's tit cold? That's why, the question I'm asking. But why wouldn't a witch's tit be cold? Because she's a human being in her. She's got blood is on her body. Yes. Where she is spawn of warm, Satan. Warm blood running through that body I'm or saying. maybe it's cold-blooded they're cold-hearted bitches i feel like we have wasted cold-hearted they're cold-hearted witches I feel like we've wasted two minutes worth of <laughs> filming in order to understand Anyhow. how why witches tit is cold well quit asking dumb questions if you don't want dumb responses we're saying stupid shit and, and, and not expect me to ask, ask you well, question everything what are we drinking right now that is high proof, keeps us warm during these cold frigid nights? Because we had some cold frigid mm, nights here. It's a juice. Well, that too. Keeps me warm. But <laughs> that's beside the point. One of the first things on my list is Old Forester 19. This is a unopened brand new bottle. I got it for Christmas, and that's because I killed the other bottle. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? That's what made you, you did. I lied. But we have it, had Old Forester 1920. Always. In the past week with uh, Julie's Bourbon Balls. No, that was 1910. Ah, damn it. Balls. Oh, these balls. Bourbon balls. The sweaty balls. Sweaty balls. And balls. Dough ball? These are some heavy balls. Wait till you get two of them in your hands. Absolutely delicious. It's available everywhere. You can pick it up in the 60-ish dollar range. 115 proof. This is just so freaking solid. As one of those, just go to, you can pick it up anywhere. Consistency, it has to make less. It's almost boringly consistent. That's why we, we tend towards some of these other bottles that we get, because we have a lot of bottles in the room that we can choose from. <laughs> Next up, Maker's Mark, BRT01. I mean, really any of the limited edition or limited release, the stave collections can, can come in here. But as you can tell, this has been one that we've been sipping on a lot. The BRT02, honestly, could be right there in it too. They're just two great pours. They're different. They're great within their own right. Uh, we're trying not to drink them too much because once that initial first wave came through, uh, no, no stores have them. And if they do, they're like 150 bucks, which is stupid. That's stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, wait until the- Stop till charging the... stupid prices, stores. Yeah. Once that next influx of inventory comes in, you know, I've noticed that a lot with Maker's with Mark. the new this Maker's year. Mark. Yeah. This year, something's changed with their and, wax. With their wax. Because these caps are coming up a lot easier. I, either that or they changed the cap itself. Could have, could have done that. But also the Knob Creeks have been doing that too. The Knob Creek has always done that though. That's true. Yeah, so these are just delicious pours. Pick them up if you can. They're, yep. they're, just, they're just super good. This is the uh, Elijah Craig Single Barrel this is a store pick. This is a 10-year store pick this is from a local store here, Bottles. You know I love old. Elijah Craig. You can see that we love Elijah Craig right up here. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and bring this one in beside it. This is also a Bottles store pick of the Knob Creek Single Barrel, and it's also five days old. This is Ryan's bottle. Yeah. I bought another you one. You have another bottle. I have one, and it's down to like here. Yeah. So, the, yeah. so don't give me shit about this one because we have both been. Yep, 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 yep. Look how dark this is. Look how dark you are. Dark brown sugar, oiliness in the mouth coating. This is coming in at 126.1 proof. I've got other store picks up here that are eight year, and I see a lot of eight year store picks. This is the 10 year store pick. I'm gonna say this rivals the 12 year barrel proofs that were released this year. Absolutely delicious. I'm loving these store picks. That Knob Creek store pick is so good. It is. Yep. And that's this one of the best store picks I've had in a while. Seriously, the fact that you and I both bought one of these the same day, and yours is down to here, but you've also drank this much, and mine's down to here, but I've also been drinking other stuff too. Yep. It really speaks volumes to how good, just how good Bottles Barrel Pick is, and I want to go back and get more. I guess technically it's my turn again. It's your turn again. Penelope Barrel Strength Private Select. Now this is different than the Barrel Strength. Barrel Strength is the red label. This is the Barrel Strength Private Select. I love this bottle. Unlike some of the store picks and everything, this is something you can readily go pick up everywhere. Comes in around 65 to 70-ish dollars, depending on, at least in our area. I love it, it's like 115 proof, I think. Yep, it's and exactly 115 proof. I'm too stupid to know flavors. Ryan can give you so much that. more about what well, he's talking about. The important bit is it's delicious. I love it's the crackling. Penelope barrel strength. I love the Penelope toasted. For me, the flavor profiles kind of, 
is that cross section between okay. the barrel strength and the toasted. It has everything about the toasted that I love, everything about the barrel strength that I love comes together in this private selection. Yeah. All right, next I have George Remus. This is the 114.2.2 proof store pick. I've had the George Remus and it's good, but it's not this good. It's not this This good. is just knock your socks off. Yeah. Amazingly good. Joe brought this over and... Uh, we killed a lot of that the first night it opened. Yeah, seriously. Th- we had to stop. We had to we stop. We had to stop because it was like down to here when we opened it. We've nursed it since then because we don't want to drink all of it right yeah. now because we kind of want to savor it for later and, yeah. and it is something that we do regularly go back to if there's any store picks around you of this take a chance go ahead and get this because it is delicious one on my list this is the jepson's bourbon out of chicago but this is the Don't story time uh port night rises this yep. is uh finished in port cass <sighs> and this is friday at fred's is finishing cognac cast Ca- cognac. Oh, cognac cognac it even says a, it's got a sticker right there it says cognac, cognac. These are just, I mean, okay, so this one's coming in at 118.32 proof. And this one's coming in at 120.52 proof. They're they're nice high proof bourbons and they are delicious. From the barrels that they were aged in, it's provided a ton of flavor. So much flavor. These are just amazing. The value on them is crazy. Shane over at Storytime, we're not kissing your ass. We're serious. I mean, you can see from these bottles. I didn't buy these that long ago. Full disclosure, Shane has sent us some bottles to review, and he sent us samples of these to review. I bought these after we sampled them, and this is how much we... I'm getting ready to order more of these before they're all gone. Shane over at StorytimeDistillery.com. Uh, he's doing some phenomenal barrel picks and finishes. It, it's it's surprising how good these are for the price. Because, I mean, these are both in that $70, $75 range. But well, they there. stand up to like $200 bottles. They're not That's punching not an in exaggeration that, yeah. either. They're not punching that $70 to $80 price range. They're punching in the $150, $200 yeah. price range. That's what you should be comparing them to because they will they blow most things out of the water. Yep. They're just delicious delicious pours hey by the way if you like what we're doing hit that like button and the notification bell so you know when we're dropping new content every week and if you like this and you want to see more check us out on patreon link will be in the description below asmr get some ear candy for yourself and enjoy it and cut you're so weird <laughs>